What's wrong, little kitty? Ah, the noble cockroach. Nothing phases them. You know they can survive even without their heads. What? How is that possible? Let's find out by answering how can cockroaches live without their heads. Zoom in! Cockroaches, those sneaky, creepy crawlers, have been scuttling around Earth for over 300 million years. They have outlived dinosaurs, survived ice ages, dodged meteors, and laughed in the face of our strongest bug sprays. But wait, it gets even crazier. These little survival experts are so tough that they can live without their heads. Sounds impossible, right? But it's true and it all comes down to how they are built. Yes, unlike humans who need their brains, blood pressure and fancy organs just to stay alive, cockroaches play by a whole different set of rules. Let's see how. First, let's talk about blood. In humans, blood is pumped under high pressure by the heart through a complex network regulated by signals from the brain. So, if the head is removed, those signals stop. The heart can't function properly and vital organs shut down quickly. But roaches have an open circulatory system where their blood, called hemolymph, sloshes around their body at very low pressure. So, even if they lose their head, there's very little bleeding. In fact, the wound usually clots and seals itself quickly, kind of like plugging a slow leaky pipe. Secondly, we breathe through our nose and mouth. And our brain tells us when to inhale or exhale. But roaches, nope. They breathe through tiny holes in their body called spiracles, located on each segment. Air travels straight into their tissues through a network of tubes called trachea. No brain needed, so they can keep breathing just fine without their heads. Now, what about eating? Well, cockroaches don't eat much, especially since they are cold-blooded, technically called poikilotherms, meaning they don't burn much energy. After one good meal, a roach can last weeks without food. So, if it gets decapitated after lunch, it might just sit still in a dark corner, slowly fading, but still alive. But it gets even weirder. The roach's nervous system is decentralized. That means it doesn't rely completely on the brain to control movement. Instead, it has ganglia, clusters of nerve cells in each body segment. So, even without a brain, the body can still react to touch and move around in jerky, zombie-like ways. And believe it or not, the head can also survive for hours, moving its antennae and reacting until it runs out of energy. But that doesn't mean the roach would survive forever. Without its head, the cockroach can't eat or drink. So, after a week or two, it dies from dehydration or infection. So, while the body might twitch and shuffle for a while, it can't do much else without direction from the brain. But immortal or not, in the world of science, they are absolute legends. Trivia time! Did you know there are over 4,000 different species of cockroaches found worldwide? Also, some species can lay up to 400 eggs in a lifetime. It's sketching time! Today's sketch of the day goes to Patricia Albinaro. 
hope you learned something fascinating today. Until next time, it's me, Dr. Binox, zooming out. Ew, kitty, what are you doing? If you can't beat them, join them. You know what? Never mind.